हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर डी एस राय हेड ऑफ नेफ्रोलॉजी एंड ट्रांसप्लांटेशन आर एंड टेगर हॉस्पिटल कोलकाता वी आर अ लीडिंग हॉस्पिटल इन द कंट्री इन डूइंग ट्रांसप्लांट एंड गिविंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ रेनाल रिलेटेड ट्रीटमेंट मे इट बी डायलिसिस हिमोडायलिसिस मे इट बी पेरिटोनियल डायलिसिस एंड ट्रांसप्लांटेशन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन हैज बीन आवर प्रायोरिटी बिकॉज ट्रांसप्लांटेशन गिव्स बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ टू द पेशेंट and we started in 2005 and till now we have done 6 and 1/2 thousand transplant which is probably the highest in the country we accept all sick patients for transplantation and we have been able to give them a new life after the transplantation energetic new younger life post transplantation and they have all done well we are a pioneering institute in doing abio incompatible transplantation where as we know around 40% of family members are missed as a donor because of the different blood group but we have started abi incompatible transplantation in 2013 and have done around 250 abi transplantation one of the highest number in the country in a very uh, low uh, expensive way so ours is a low expensive protocol which helps the middle class people we hardly spend um, uh, uh, need around 1 and 1/2 to 2 lakhs extra for a bio incompatible transplantation if we think of transplantation there are two major obstacles in transplantation one is a bio blood group uh, obstacle but more important is a hla antibody obstacle suppose i am taking a kidney from person a and i have antibody against his hla hla is a antigen in the body which identifies each individual so i have antibody against his hla the moment i get his kidney liver it will get rejected so that is called hla antibody related rejection and that is very severe rejection now we are into it's it's very difficult to overcome that injection but we are into now hla antibody desensitization we have done around 20 patients who have had hl antibodies and we have successfully transplanted who have been refused in different smaller centers or other centers because of the hl antibody and we are doing more and more hl antibody transplantation patients who have multiple pregnancies patient who have received multiple blood transfusion or patients who have got multiple transplants they are more likely to have hl antibody and those are the patients when they come to us after moving around multiple hospital being denied a transplant we have been able to do successfully so we have done around 7 third transplant and some of them with hl antibodies and they have they have done well post transplant they are, they are living a quality and happy life thank you